What up, bros? Today I have another care package from Worker. This is not actually a big box of biscuits. This is a bunch of Worker parts. Um, I did already open it to make sure no paperwork was inside. Um, so this is just an initial reaction. This is not a review of the components that are included in this little care package. So let's begin, shall we? So when my contact from Worker reached out, he said he was going to send me over a 22 round banana mag. Um, that's what this thing is. I did not know he's going to send me one of each of the colors. Um, super cool. Loaded a couple darts so you can kind of see the difference. This is the frosted one. So you can kind of see the ammo. Completely transparent. Well, still frosted, but you know, more clear than this one. Opaque black, which, you know, there's a window here, but other than that, you can't see in. And then opaque orange, which isn't clear, but you know, it's orange. Very cool magazines, very high capacity. These things are pretty big. In a separate package, I was sent one of these as well. This is a 15 round banana mag. Um, I think I have a few of these clear ones and the other colors, but this is pink. As you can see, I didn't paint that. It's actually um, like molded in a pink plastic, which is pretty cool. This is also by Worker. The wicked long 22 rounders now dwarf the 15. And this is a 10 round uh, banana mag from Hasbro. So, you know, there's a size comparison compensating much lol this isn't a review so i can't tell you how well they feed but if they work like all the other um worker parts they're gonna work just fine uh the feed does feel good right now but this certainly isn't enough to tell you um, that it doesn't jam or anything i'll run all of them through a few hundred rounds and um maybe mention it next time they come up in a video super cool wicked long um you know so they're just as easy to store as like 18 round stick mags if you put them into your body like on um tack gear obviously it's, it's longer so it's not as easy but you have a few extra darts and just a little bit of the uh banana style swag for the uh the tactical points as well as the the practical high cap so you know kind of the best combo of all the worlds <laughs> i'm gonna get to the other items in the box i don't actually know what else he sent me um he said he was gonna send me over a 22 round mag i did not know i was getting four and i didn't know i was getting other stuff i glanced in the box and there's some other boxes some boxception up in here so let's just start opening i suppose Oh, this is a locking mech for, uh, looks like the Strife. Oh, cool. Did he send me one of those? Worker just came out with, um, it's the Chris Vector kit that I reviewed before, but it's not 3D printed. Oh, man, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. If you guys remember this thing, uh, this is the Chris Vector kit from Worker, or, um, F10555, which is Worker's 3D printing-like area. This is 3D printed, so you can see some grain in there. It's not, like, sloppy or anything, but you can see that it's, there's some grain that because it was 3d printed this thing is injection molded so the finish wow that's spectacular oh and it's already ready to go so install is actually going to be even easier wow that is super cool very sexy i'm pumped for this kit so it's the same looking thing but it's injection molded so it's just a little bit smoother this is just an initial impression so i might be wrong here but it looks like the install goes about in, in a very similar way compared to like how I installed that. Um, I think I covered that in the review. Very cool. I was planning on painting uh, this kit, but now I think I'm just going to paint this one just because it looks a little bit better and it'll look especially better um, with paint on it. Is this, is this like grip tape? Oh man, holy tactics, Batman. Holy tactics. It's like a, like it feels like a skateboard, like skateboard tape, like mad traction. So if you want to get your, your mad traction, your foe stippling up in here, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, but that is a really cool product. I am really stoked. That's definitely, definitely going to be in a future video. Magical mystery box. That, is that just a flashlight? Already. Well, I don't think that's a worker brand product. <laughs> but cool, a flashlight. Nifty. And it looks like these are just accessory rails. Probably for that kit, I assume. I've had these before by Worker. Uh, these slide over the in-strike rail and then change it into a weaver or a picatinny rail. And then the little set screws will bolt it down so it's um, super stable. This is the best solution that I've used that will change a nerf tack rail into a picatinny rail if you want to put on um, like airsoft or even firearm attachments to your nerf toy. Very cool. A few different sizes. I assume that just like will completely set up the, the crisp vector there. I assume this is for the Strife. This is an extended mag release, which I've wanted for a while uh, because, you know, I like to go fast, as you guys know, and this helps you reload a little bit faster. I might be mistaken, but I believe this is for the Strife. I'll look up that part number, or it could be for, like, the Rapid Strike. 
Um, I, I don't know. But the idea of an extended uh, release is to have the same button concept of a lever, but then extending it. So then you have like a wicked big paddle to just hit so you can reload a little bit quicker, which is definitely really cool. And that is the end of the Magical Mystery Box. Um, very cool. I'm definitely excited for these massive magazines. Um, you know, when bigger is always better. This is just getting ridiculous and nice and curved. Because uh, Tactics, now that they release pink, I mean, I don't know if the rep actually watches my videos, but hey, if, if you want to make the banana mags in yellow, especially if you have those little stickers, like those little blue stickers that show up on like bananas, that'd be freaking hilarious. Funny enough, um, I was really stoked for these big mags, but now that I've seen this thing, I don't even like want to pay attention to the mags. I just want to go install this because this this build quality is super cool. And the Chris Vector kit, like the the three D printed one, is super cool. Um, so I'm really pumped for this. Um, definitely gonna paint it up, make it look tech to cool. Probably give it an obnoxious paint job just because I think that's appropriate for a SMG. Like, you know, who uses camo and CQB? Pfft. So I'll just paint it like tie dye or something. That'll be fun. Yeah, bros, that is just a little unboxing of a care package, not really a review, just saying, hey, check out this cool stuff. I'll leave a link in the description box to the eBay store if any of this is available on eBay, on Amazon, or the Taobao page. Um, all the links I can find to the worker stuff, so you can go check it out if you'd like to. It's highly unlikely I'll have standalone reviews on these products, but I'll, I'll be using all of them in future videos, um, and hopefully after I get some rounds through these, I can have an opinion and say, hey, they didn't jam for me, um, and they're pretty cool, or I'll point out any issues that I have, or I had with them, but. I haven't had any issues with any worker mags, and they've had a number of designs, so very cool. So that's the unboxing. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay tactical.